putting cancer under a very hot spotlight. I was excited because I feel like this is really going to help me. The remarkable technique that's heating up the fight against the deadly disease. Eyewitness News at 6.30 is next. A unique treatment for cancer is making a comeback. How Utah doctors are warming up to the idea. Coming up next. Things are heating up for cancer in a bad way. Bad, that is, for tumor cells. Hypothermia treatment is making a comeback, being used for the first time in more than a decade here in Utah. Ed Yates watches as the temperature goes up at Ogden Regional Medical Center. Gene Naibo may not be getting a suntan lying on this bed at a place called Gamma West, but the hyperthermia box above her is sizzling her cancer cells. I'm feeling warm, very warm, but it but it's not uncomfortable. Microwave energy is focused on her skin where breast cancer cells have made a reappearance. You see, unlike a normal cell, the core of a cancer cell is very sensitive to heat. Cancer cells have gone through changes uh, to make them become cancerous and they've lost some of their previous abilities. Uh, they're more sensitive in a lot of ways. Their mechanism to repair tissue doesn't work that well anymore. And as cells, they tend to cycle faster than normal. So when you hit them with heat at about 107 degrees, they become oxygenated again, ready for the kill by follow-up radiation. The studies that were done showed that if you deliver radiation within four hours of delivering the hyperthermia, you have a prolonged effect of this oxygenation. While doctors won't know for another four weeks how well this partnership has worked for Jean, she believes the tumors are disappearing. Yes, I have. I've noticed it. In my arm right above the elbow, I, there was quite a bit of cancer in there and it's starting to go away. Again, Jean's treatment here involves mostly heat to the surface of her skin surface tumors, but hyperthermia will go much deeper. Any tumorous type cancer that we can get the needles into or that we can get through an external beam that we can raise the temperature, hyperthermia is effective. In fact, right after Jean finished her hyperthermia and headed down the hall for radiation treatment, another patient was coming in to have hyperthermia needles inserted directly into his prostate, preparing the kill for his prostate cancer. At Yates, Ogden. Clinical trials using hypothermia on other types of cancers are already underway in Europe.